Hi guys, I picked this one up in the charity shop the other day. Go Go Car, which appears to be a line follower. And when I looked at it, it looks like the battery's completely corroded in there. So we'll take it, or at least we'll change the battery first, see what happens. And we might take it apart. Let's have a look. That one, I should think. Yeah, that doesn't look very healthy, does it? Well, to be honest, the rest of it looks okay. Right, double A, uh, triple A battery. We'll just clean this up a bit. That appears just to be a ball bearing there. I'm guessing we've got a couple of LEDs up here somewhere. Oh well, put the battery in there and see what happens. Not a lot happening. <laughs> no, I think we're supposed to get the LEDs come on. So we'll have a look inside then. Well, that's why the LED didn't come on. That's corroded through. And the power wire's corroded through. Okay, got a bit of soldering to do then. This is going to be one of those ones that everything I touch is going to come apart. We've got two motors at the back there. So I expect they're individually driven back wheels. So that will give it steering. Yeah, that's some sort of detector there on that side. And another one on that side. So that's what's looking down through the little slots there. I've got the light right on top so we can see what we've got. Rather as I expected, as soon as I started moving wires they started falling apart. I've replaced this one that goes to the negative terminal on the battery and to the on-off switch. So that's a fresh bit of wire because the old one, you just couldn't solder it because it was so corroded. And then one of the LED wires I've replaced with that green one for the same reason. Uh, don't seem to be getting the motors running at the moment. If I shine the light directly into those slots, the LEDs do actually come on. Let's see if I can do that. I'll just sort of flicker occasionally. So at least we've got power going into the board. We know that, otherwise those LEDs wouldn't come on. So, um... Hmm, don't know what to do next. I say clearly the circuit board's working because we've only got a one and a half volt battery there and it is lighting both of those LEDs. 
which means if we pull that apart again, that board there, the little one, is some sort of jaw thief setup. Or voltage doubler. Can't really do much about the motors because I know if I try and pull them apart they like to break the wires off and then there's nothing you can do with them then. We can look at the gearbox. Uh, zoom in. Yeah. So without pulling the gearbox out because it's glued in place, we've got two motors. I can see we've got a worm drive in there, or worm gear, that drives one side or the other. Well, there's two gearboxes basically. Right, don't know if I can get this in focus. We're a bit close up. Been doing more work on these two motors, trying to get them to work. The blue wires on both of them were corroded where they went onto the circuit board, so I've cut them and resoldered them. This motor now works okay if I connect power directly to it. This one is a bit intermittent. Um, we'll see if we can get it working. I'll just put some power on it. Yeah. No, I'm actually putting uh, three volts through it rather than one and a half volts. That seems to get it going straight away. If I just try it with one and a half volts. Oh yeah, it's going now. I left it running for quite a while. I think the brushes are dirty on it or maybe they've got some corrosion on them. So I thought if I left it running for a while that might clean the brushes off. still that's it there we go so that one worked straight away after I'd resoldered the wires but the one on the other side was a bit intermittent but that seems to be all right now so say so I left it running for a while and I think that may have cleaned the brushes so I should be getting those LEDs on Oh. Now the switch is playing up. Right, so they're on. Whoa. And one of the motors is running. We are making progress. Right, we've made some progress, but we're still not quite there. You might notice I'm using two AA batteries instead of the single AAA. The reason for that is I've got both motors working, but one of them seems to stick. I think it's got dirty brushes, but it seems to work better if I use 3 volts instead of 1.5 volts. It still jams sometimes. Uh, what we've got Here we've got two sensors, one on either side. There's an LED that's shining a light out and there's a receiver in there next to it. So it shines the light out, that should bounce off the white surface of the paper and straight back in again. So it's picked up by the receiver. That turns on the motor that drives that wheel. And on this side we've got the same thing LED shining light out and there's a receiver picking it up again and that drives this motor. Unfortunately they don't seem to be strong enough that if I hold a bit of white paper over them they're not working. If I use a shiny surface like this washer, a bit like a mirror, Hopefully you can see the wheel on that side's turning. If I put 
put the, over this one. This one's turning. It's a bit intermittent, as I say, this one. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. I uh, don't know if that washes any shinier. Yeah, it is. So this one's working. That one's working. If they're both covered, then they both drive. So if the car drifts one way, and instead of seeing a shiny surface, it sees a black surface, then this one turns off. The other one's supposed to keep going. There we go. So what that does is if the black line's on this side, this wheel stops turning. That one keeps turning, so that will push the car this direction. So over the black line, back onto the white. Same the other way. Is this one going to go? No, this one's not going to go now. Can I get it? No, I'm going to have to reach inside and poke it with a pin. Oh, done it. Sorry about that. As you can tell, that's a real pain. The only way to fix that will be to replace that motor, because there's no way of getting them apart and cleaning the brushes. It looks like it's about 10 centimetres long. None of the little cordless motors that I've got are that size. So I can't just fix it quickly, I'd have to order one. It's working now, isn't it? After all that fuss. No, there we go. You can see the LED probably lighting underneath the headlight. That's how you know which one should be driving. So the fact that LED's on tells you that that motor should be turning. Oh, I did it that time. So there we go. Progress. But I'm not going to fix this, not without a new motor. So, it's not going to work. I guess what I could do is take it apart entirely and just use the components and do one with some better motors. Summary time, well, we've nearly got it going. We'd need to replace one of the motors to get it to work properly, and even then I'm not sure that it's going to work that well. With the um, AAA battery, then it does seem to struggle. If I use two AA batteries, then everything sort of works. We still have the problem with one of the motors being intermittent. Could replace it with a LiPo. But I think it's been interesting, but not worth doing any more to it. So we'll leave it at that. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee and if you fancy some Grandad merchandise I have two shops one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.